Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is so good. God is so faithful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Psalms 24, verse 3, sinabi dito, Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has a clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord, praise God, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who may stand in his holy place? He who has a clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor son deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord. There's always a reward if you continue to obey the, the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much, O God, for your word tonight. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for your word. Always cleanses our heart. Always sanitize us. Hallelujah. Our spirit, salam, body. And Father, we thank you so much, dear God, for another week. This is another week of increase. This is another week of receiving. This is another week of blessing. Hallelujah. Another week of favor. Praise God. Praise God for your faithfulness. And Lord, once again, we commit to you our online Bible study every night, Monday to Friday. And thank you, Father God, for the utterances. Thank you for helping us, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fulfill. Do what you want us to do for the week in Jesus' name. And thank you, God, for each one of us right now joining. And even, O oh God, the viewers, the hearer, of oh God, of this recording, we command, I command blessing upon you. I command blessing to you and upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you so much for another increase of wisdom, another increase of revelation in the knowledge of the truth, and another increase of spiritual understanding. Continue to help us, O oh God, to see, to see your plan, to see your plan. Help us to see your plan, to see your plan and fulfill it, and fulfill it, Lord, and fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Seeing is not enough. We want to fulfill it. We want to we want to manifest it. We want to make it happen in our life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. We're all blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So again, mapagpalang gabi sa bawat isa. And welcome sa ating Growing in Faith class. Day one for the week. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good. We thank God for the grace. No, The grace to teach to you and the grace also to receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Narinig ko kanina si Pastor Joe sa kanyang topic. A lifestyle of faith. Sinabi niya, A lifestyle of faith is a continual, it's, it's a lifestyle of hearing the word. A lifestyle of faith, it is a continual hearing the word. A lifestyle, it's a continual, no? A continual lifetime hearing of the word and applying the word in our heart. And everything in the kingdom of God, we take it by grace, through faith, and through love. Because faith only works through love. Amen. So, let's continue our topic. Last Wednesday, we started living in God's supply. And we discussed last week that in the kingdom of God, or the supply of God in our life is in the plan of God. You sinabi ko kahapon that everything we need is in the kingdom of God. No, everything we need in life is the kingdom of God. Every supply that we need is in the kingdom of God. Amen? So the kingdom of God is already in the inside of us. So we can live in God's supply if we are in the plan of God, doing the will of God in our life. Amen? If we are out of the plan of God, doing other things, no, then the things of God, we will never enjoy the supply of God in our life. So we discussed that living in God's supply, there is a plan. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, but plans to give you up in the future. Then prayer is a vital talaga, no? The only key, key, 
no the only key hallelujah na makita natin ma-enjoy natin yung kaharian ng Panginoon sa pamagitan po ng ating panalangin kasi doon po talaga ni God ida-download prayer is a communication prayer is a fellowship with God prayer is a kingdom business now that is his way protocol ni God if we really want to know the kingdom of God and then there is a blessed place no yung sinabi ko yung pinag-aralan po natin that there is a wealthy place so every this assignment every every ordained place na binigay ni God sa atin no it is already blessed so if we do it faithfully no that place is already blessed as at napag-aralan din po natin na yung best place na yun is in Christ amen is in Christ the anointing the supply is already there we cannot choose our place because it is already ordained Okay, the body of Christ, sinabi sa 1 Corinthians, sinabi doon na uh, there are sets of members and then God uh, please it ordain. Okay, uh, 1 Corinthians 12, tingnan natin. Verse 18, but now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as He pleased. So, we cannot choose. No, there is an ordained place talaga na binigay ni God sa atin. So, tonight, well, tatapusin po natin yung assignments. No? Isa sa Uh, if we really want to live in God's supply, we must be kingdom-minded, kingdom-assignment-minded. No? In the kingdom of God, there's a kingdom assignment. So, kailangan talaga alamin natin yung assignment na yun. Yung sinabi ko kanina sa 1 Corinthians 12, 18, that, But now, God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as He pleased. So, kung ikaw ay, ikaw, ikaw ay kamay, In the body of Christ, gawin mo yung trabaho ng kamay. Kung ikaw ay paa, gawin mo yung trabaho ng paa. So you have to discover no, kung ano yung part mo doon sa body of Christ. Yung sinabi ko na hindi lang tayo nagpapakyut-cute. At sa Ephesians 2.10, sinabi once na nabumborn again po tayo, no, yung sinabi niya doon na we are God's co-workmanship created in Christ to do the good work that He had prepared before the foundations of the world. For we are His co-workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. No, yun ang purpose. Balik-balikan talaga natin to para ma-establish sa heart po natin. No, God created us for his own purpose. No. Uh, uh, to serve his purpose. Tapos yung foundation, yung work na pini-prepare niya before the foundations of the world. Kaya ginawa niya muna tayong righteous na born again para magawa po natin yung magandang Gawa. And that is our kingdom assignment. And then, ano pa? Sa Ephesians 3, eh, Ecclesiastes 3, 9 to 10. What profit as the worker from that in which the, he labors? What profit has the worker from that in which he labor? I have seen the God-given task with which the sons of men are to be occupied. Dapat, we will be occupied No, with that God-given task. Hindi tayo maging occupied sa ibang mga bagay-bagay. Dapat, we will be occupied no, doon sa mga assignments po natin. Okay, this verse speaks to God-given tasks which are to occupy our time and energies. So, do natin ilo, idoon natin i ano yung ating buhay, ilaan. No? This is the contrast to doing just any task or being busy with just any work. Kapatid, wag nating sayangin, no? Doing things, getting busy, no? With works na hindi naman pala yun ang pinapagawa ni God. Kaya it's always good talaga to ask God, Lord, ito ba yung pinapagawa? Ito ba yung ginagawa ko? Ito ba yung pinapagawa mo sa akin? Kasi sayang, no? Sayang. We should be occupied. We should be busy on God, what God has given us, the kingdom assignment, the God-given task. God's plan for your life often consists of series of assignment. No, mayroong mga series of assignment or God-given task. Some of these are short-term, while others last for weeks, months, or even years as you faithfully carry out these assignments by God's grace and ability, He will promote you to a new level of anointing, productivity, honor, and faithfulness. Yun yun. Kaya laging mayroong impact, laging may eternal impact, laging mayroong magandang result. Kung doon natin inuukol ang ating mga buhay doon sa paggawa ng mga 
assignment na binigay ni God sa ating mga buhay. Amen. At dito din, no, sinabi dito na hindi nga no there's a source of assignment short term, long term, no weeks, months, years. So dapat ma-recognize po natin 'yon at 'yun talaga dapat magiging faithful tayo. Iwan ko laging bumabalik sa akin yung kunyari lagi kayo nagsasabi, tinatawag talaga ako ni God sa cleaning team. Ito talagang trabaho ko sa church, maglilinis ng church. Okay? Kayo po yung nakarecognize. Kayo kayo po yung nakakaalam. And then all of a sudden, wala na. Amen? All of a sudden, wala na. Hindi. Kasi, yung nga mga binigay ni God sa ating assignments, doon tayo mapuprove. Doon tayo matitest. No, yung ating faithfulness ang ating, And then, promotions will come Anointing will come I-level up ka ni God Kaya kapatid, pag hindi talaga natin ginagawa ng tama Yung mga sinasabi natin Wala Instead na aangat ka, babagsak ka talaga Imbis aangat ka spiritually, babagsak ka talaga Amen? Wag Kaya, ewan ko, lagi itong lumalabas sa bibig ko Do not despise the small beginning Do not despise the small assignment If you know na yun ang pinapagawa ni God At ako lalo mismo naririnig ko pa sa mga bibig nyo Na yun ang pinapagawa ni God And then you're not doing it right It's not good Kaya nakikita ko din what happened in your life Amen Ibig sabihin, it's not me talking to you Kasi sinabi ni God At it is, it is the Lord who dropped it in your heart That this is the given task assignment That I give to you for a season Amen For a season And then if you If you kung binigay mo lahat to todo binigay mo lahat-lahat no yung 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 puso mo doon nagawa yung mga bagay na yan you will never be the same you will never be the same you will be promoted no you will be promoted spiritually tandaan po natin sa third gen 2 ano sinabi doon i pray that you may prosper in all things even in health as your souls prosper amen we will never prosper in our in our health we will never prosper in any areas of our life if our soul will not prosper okay at ito yun, if you will not do what is right, if you will not do, you recognize no, the God-given the God-given task that He gave to you. Alam mo yun, pinapagawa. And then you are not doing it. You are not doing it. You are not finishing it. Ikaw din yung kawawa. Bakit? It will affect your soul. It will affect your soul. You cannot move on because there is a condemnation. No, you cannot move on because there is a condemnation, and it will affect your hearing because it is disobedience. So how can you be promoted? How can you be promoted spiritually? Amen. Because ito talaga kapatid, God is just. God is just. But the good thing is, God loves us. No, He loves us. So kailangan nate talaga natin is to repent, repent, renew your mind, and then Lord, go back. Kung ano'y pinapagawa ni God sa'yo, go back. You cannot go forward. You cannot go forward in the plan of God unless you will not finish the number one. Parang sa school lang, nag-aaral ka ng grade one, kolelat ka, di ka marunong magbasa, di ka marunong sulat, is the teacher going to promote you to the higher level? Hindi, babalik ka eh. Ibabalik ka sa grade one hanggang matututo kang magbasa, hanggang matututo kang sumulat. Same with God. Ibabalik at ibabalik ka talaga niya kung saan place na yun, no Hanggang matututo kang sumunod sa Panginoon. God is just. Okay, bakit? Because He want us to obey Him. He want us to obey Him. He want us to have fear in the Lord. Kasi bakit kapatid? There's an instrument. There's a kingdom. No? Mayroong kingdom na kailangan nating i-rule. Mayroong kingdom na kailangan nating kailangan natin i-manage. So how can we manage the kingdom of God? How can we lead No, if we are not faithful with the small assignments that we give to our lives, Amen. Say, "My Lord, I repent." Hallelujah. Praise God. Any assignment, any assignment, any assignment that you know, yun ang pinapagawa ni God sa yon. Okay. At alam mo yun. Alam mo yun kung ano yun. Amen. So, kailangan lang talaga tayo magiging faithful. So, how to find God's assignment for your life? Ask and seek Matthew seven seven and balikan natin Matthew seven seven. Ask and it will be given to you. Ask, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. 
So we need to ask, Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, alam ko, Panginoon, meron kang plano sa buhay ko. Lord, continue to show me. We have we have a daily scriptural prayer. Diba? Yung sa Ephesians 1. No? You can ask God, Lord, thank you. Thank you, God. I have the eyes to see. Show me, Lord God, what is my assignment for this season. Amen? And then if you recognize that it is your assignment for the season, then be occupied into that assignment. And you will experience the grace of God. You will experience the ability of God. Amen? Hallelujah. And you will be a blessing. So begin to make some heartfelt inquiry to the Lord. Seryoso ka talaga. No? Do not have. Sinabi ng Bible, you do not have because you do not ask. So it's important to ask the Lord what He wants you to do with your life. Lord, what do you want me in my life? Lord, how am I? Captain Consecration. Asking is a lifetime. Keep asking God. Kasi there are season, there are season na parang hindi mo na alam anong gagawin mo. But if you keep on asking, if you keep asking, you will always recognize the door is opening. No, the door is open. Na yung pala yung papagawa ni God sa'yo. And then keep on asking, keep on asking, keep on asking. And then you will notice na mayroong ability na binigay ni God sa'yo. Tandaan po natin, be occupied of your God-given assignment. Not of the other things. Amen? James 4 verse 2. Ano yung sinabi sa James 4? If you want. So, God has given us the free will. If you want to live in God's supply. Amen? Itong topic natin yun ay para ito sa mga gusto talaga na ma-enjoy yung provision ni God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sa James 4, you last and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. We must ask the Lord. Amen? Even Jesus had to seek the will of the Father. Jesus seek the will of the Father. Amen? While He was on earth. Tingnan po natin sa James, uh, sa John 5.30. I can of myself do nothing. As I heard, I judge, and my judgment is righteous because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Amen? He knows that the Father sent him. That's why he keep on seeking God. No? Sinabi niya dito, Because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Kapatid, there is a seeking. And it is a lifetime of seeking. We're talking about the kingdom of God. Amen? How to find our kingdom assignment. So as you begin to ask and seek His plan for your life, trust Him to work inside you. So saan yung working? You cannot, you cannot find or you cannot recognize or, or parang ganun. Um, if you keep on asking God, okay, you cannot, you cannot recognize it outside. He will not reveal it to you outside, but there's something in the inside of you, no? Because He's working with in the, in the inside of us, no? He worked with inside to create a desire of what He desires for you, no? He put a desire. If you keep on asking God what you want, there is a desire to help. There is a desire to help, and then ipa process mo pa yon, ipa process, and then along the way, makikita mo na yon, and dudu ka na pala yung para yung assignment na binigay ni God sa yon for a season, amen? But it will happen only. If you are asking God. Okay. Philippians 2.13 For it is God who works in you. Both to win and to do for His good pleasure. O, tapos, pansin nyo, mayroong assignment si God sa atin. Pagkatapos, anong gagawin ni God? Anong gagawin natin? We need to see. Okay. Tapos, mayroong kingdom assignment, mayroong plano si God. And then he ask mo yon, you seek, and then if you ask God, ano ng gagawin ni God? He work within us. Okay, he work within us. He create a desire. Okay, ilalagay niya yon. Oh, ilalagay mo yung desire. Lord, mayroon ako ng desire ngayon na magserve. Mayroon ako ng desire ngayon na magbibigay. Mayroon ako ng desire. Okay, it is God who put that desire. Kaya pag mayroon desire na doon, ano ng gagawin po natin? No, kasi you ask. You have to act. Hindi po pwedeng nag-aask ka, naglagay si God ng desire, tapos nag-act ka, o kaya hindi ka nag-aact, o kaya nag-aact ka, pero hindi mo tinapos. 
Amen? Don't be a good starter, but be a good finisher. Ano pa? Sa Psalms 37 verse 4. Sabi mo, God loves me and He keep on reminding me of my kingdom assignment. This is the love of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Again, mga kapatid, you cannot go farther if you keep on jumping and jumping. It causes delay. At meron pang danger if you keep on jumping and jumping and jumping. Amen? So Psalms 37 verse 4 Delight yourself also in the Lord and He shall give you the desires of your heart. Pag hinahanap natin ang Panginoon, no? He will give us. Tingnan ko pa sa ano? Sa Tagalog. Kayawi mo hanapin ang kaligayahan at ang pangarap mo ay iyong makakamtan. Praise God. So hindi talaga doon sa ibang bagay, kundi kayawi natin hanapin. Amen? So that's how we find. Number one, how to find our God kingdom assignment. Number two, offer your life willingly. Offer your life willingly for whatever the Lord wants you to do. Kung anong binapagawa ni God sa'yo, then offer your life to the Lord willingly. Isaiah, Isaiah 6 verse 8. We're talking about living in God's supply. So, hindi natin, hindi pala talaga automatic, no? Kung gusto natin talaga sa Panginoon, hindi, gusto, hindi po pwede mangyari yung mga gusto natin. Mababali talaga yung mga gusto natin. Isaiah 6 verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Her am I, Lord. Send them. Hindi. Her am I, Lord. Send me. Amen. You volunteer willingly. Yell to the Lord, Whom shall I send? Whom shall I send? Send me. Kung naririnig mo yun, si Lord nag nag ano na nag nagko-call na whom shall i send tapos sinagot mo yun sabi mo no no my my send me kapag hindi di ka kaganyan padala sa gera kay magumpisa ka doon sa mga maliliit na assignment amen ititrain ka niya i-equip ka niya kaya pag hindi mo yung pinasa hanggang send me ka lang saan diyan ka pa rin Hindi ka talaga uusad. Kasi, hindi ka ipapadaligad sa gera na pagdating doon sa gera, mamamatay ka lang kasi hindi mo alam kung paano humawak ng baril mo. Amen? Tuturuan tayo kung paano kumasa ng baril natin bago tayo isisend ni God. He will equip us. He will empower us. Amen? Tarry in Jerusalem that you may be filled with the Spirit. There is an equipping that will happen before God will send. Okay, ang tanong, if you're not willing to be equipped, how it would happen? It will not, never happen. It could never happen sa buhay po natin. Amen? So a life that is surrendered to the Lord's purposes is a life that is easier to direct. Ang hirap kaya, ang hirap kaya magturo ng ayaw makinig. Ang hirap kaya magturo ng ayaw sumunod. Same with God. Kapatid, willingness. If we are not willing to cooperate with God, Amen, He will not force our will. He keep on waiting for us. He keep on waiting for us until such time you will say, Okay, Lord, I surrender all. Amen? Because a life that is surrendered to the Lord's purpose is a life that is easier to direct. Kahit ako, Pastor, Mas gusto ko yung mga taong madaling sumunod. Pag mayroon akong sinasabi, naniniwala, nakikinig, ginagawa. Kasi sila yung mga taong napopromote. Sa mood God. Amen? But it doesn't mean that I don't love you. It doesn't mean that God won't love us. Amen? God is so patient. Ang sarap kaya. Kahit sa mga anak niyo, Papasin niyo. Yung mga anak niyo na talagang willingly na sumunod. 
masaya kayo. Same with God. Amen? Same with God. Psalms 32 verse 9. Ano sinabi sa Psalms 32 verse 9? Do not be like the horse or like a mule which have no understanding which must be hard, harnessed with bit and bridle else they will not come near you. Else they will not come near you. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gusto ko po tong namnamin niyo. Huwag tayo magiging huwag tayo magiging horse. Amen. Tingnan ko sa Tagalog. Huwag kang tumulad sa kabayo o sa mola na walang pangunawa na upang sumunod lang ay hahatakin pa ng renda. Tingnan mo yung kabayo. Diba? Yung, lalo na yung mga ano, yung mga, oh, kabayo. ano ginawa sa kabayo? Pinali dito sa ilong. Tapos hampas-hampasin. No, gaganong-ganon. Para sumunod lang. Kung saan, huwag tayong maging ganon na kailangan pantalian tayo para sumunod. Tapos hampas-hampas. Diba? So, Huwag tayong ano daw, huwag tayong maging ganun, no? Huwag kang tumulad sa kabayo o sa mola na walang pangunawa na upang sumunod lang ay hahatakin pa ng renda. Alam mo ba yun? Napansin po mo yung kabayo? May tali, di ba? Pagkatapos ngayon, saan ang tali nun? Sa ilong ang tali. Ligay sa ilong. Pagkatapos kaya, tsuk tsuk Tapos may pamalo ka. Pak! Habang sinasakya mo, pinapalo. Gusto mo ba yung ganun ka? Pinapalo tayo lagi ni Lord. <laughs> Takbo! Diba? Tapos, saka na magre-repent repent kung mayroon na nangyayari. Whom the Lord loves, He discipline. Amen? Pero, ito yon Hindi sakit ang kanyang ibibigay. No? Kasi, ayaw mo sunod. Sige, bigyan kita ng sakit. Di disiplinahin kita, bigyan kita ng sakit. No, 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 no! Amen? Hindi, it's not the way the Lord, yung kanyang way ng pagdidisiplin sa atin ay bigyan tayo ng karamdaman o ano pa mang kap kapahamakan. Hallelujah! Praise God! Ano sinabi sa Mateo 6, 26? Mateo 26. Kay kapatid, ano mo yung pagsunod kay Lord? Ano yun? Decision po natin. And this is not a one-time decision na gagawin mo. As much as possible every day. You must have an attitude no, of a total surrendered heart to the Lord. Lord, thank you for your plan today. Thank you, dear God. Lord, I willingly submit to you everything. Hallelujah. Kah kahit mahirap na trabaho, pag alam mo, yun ang assignment mo, binigay ni God, there's always grace to do it. Amen? And there's joy. Kaya laging merong strength. Kasi alam mo yun ang pinapagawa ni God. Merong joy. Kaya merong strength. At merong strength, Ano mangyari? Mayroon laging magandang result. And then, mayroon promotion na mangyayari. Okay, Matthew 26, 39 to 42, sinabi niya, He went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And even Jesus Christ, he asked the Father, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Lord, I want this, Lord God, but Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Amen? Gusto ko talaga to, Lord. Pero Lord, ano ba talaga ang plano mo sa buhay ko? Tandaan po natin, No? The high call of God is God's best in our life. Nasa atin, maganda na, pero best na. But if you surrender it to the Lord, you let God to show it. Pakikita mo, ay hindi pa pala siya ang best para sa'yo. Matthew 6. In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So this is our prayer. Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Pero kapatid, don't pray for this sa divine health and healing. Huh? 
Huwag mo itong ipanalangin. Lord, salamat sa kagalingan ko, Panginoon. But Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Uy, kalooban ng Diyos, nagagaling ka. Amen? Binag- balikan mo yung preacher natin kahapon. Amen? Kalooban ng Diyos na pagpapalain ka financially. So, ano yung mga ano yung mga bagay na sasabihin natin? Yung mga bagay na hindi mo nakikita dito sa Bible, but you know, in your heart. No? Kaya nga, surrender. The Lord will keep you that He is working within us and putting the desires of our heart. Lord, itong desire na to Panginoong God. Lord, kung ito para sa iyo, Panginoong God. Ito, Lord, ay nanggagaling sa iyong desire, Panginoong God. Lord, not my will, but your will be done. And you will know, and you will know, and you will know, and you will know, and you will know if it is from the Lord. Kasi ni minsan, sumagi sa isip mo yun. No, magugulit ka na lang. Binigay ni God sa puso. Nagdadrop na lang yung desire na yun. And then, keep on praying. At ito pa, mga kapatid, hindi ibig sabihin, panalangin mo at ngayon nakikita mo, yun na yun. No, 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 no. Amen? Kailangan talaga natin ipoprocess pa sa prayer. Okay? Hanggang magiging clear na yun talaga. Okay? Kasi, uh, naniniwala ko pag ilalagay tayo ni God sa place po natin, everything is there. Lahat ang pangailangan natin, spiritually, materially, and dyan Amen? Kasi paano tayo makapag-grow? Paano tayo makapag-pursue? Paano tayo makapag-serve kay Lord doon sa nais niya kung hindi natin? We're talking about God-given task. Okay? So, hindi yung lugar na gusto mo, hindi yung trabaho na gusto mo, kundi yung gusto ni God na hinanda ni God sa'yo before the foundations of the world. Okay? So, yun nga, no, magagawa mo lang yun kung talagang totally in-offer mo ang iyong sarili sa Panginoon. Okay, what else? How to find God's assignment for your life? Spend time praying in the Spirit. Spend time. Okay. How many minutes? How's your prayer life? 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2. We need to spend time praying in the Spirit. We know that praying in the Spirit, we are praying the mastery of God. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 2, For he who speak in a tongue does not speak to man but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. He speaks mysteries. Okay. Ano yung mysteries na to? Ibig sabihin, ay mga mystery to. Hindi. No, 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 no. No? In the natural, ito mystery na to, in the natural, hindi mo siya nakikita, hindi mo siya alam. But when you speak to in tongues, you're speaking to the Father, and the Father will reveal to you those mysteries. Amen? Kaya mayroong revelation of those mysteries that will give you the understanding of those mysteries. Kaya nga siya mystery kasi hindi mo alam but God knows. Amen? God knows kung anong season ka ngayon dapat mong gagawin. God knows kung saan ka dap- dapat ngayon. God knows kung ano dapat yung gagawin mo. God knows kung ano mga pangailangan mo. Amen? But when you pray in tongues, when you pray in tongues, God will show you the mystery. So spending time praying, in tongues, with a willing, seeking heart, allows the Holy Spirit to bring you out beyond the limits of your own mind and reasoning and move you into eternal realm of God. Amen? Kaya supernatural. When pray in tongues, we are, we are entering into the supernatural realm. No? It is the access into the supernatural door. Kaya yung mga natural ngayon nakikita po natin, when we utter it in prayer, amen, we will see beyond the natural that we are seeing. There's more pa pala. Amen? There's more pa pala. Kaya unti-unti natin ngayon makikita yung plano ni God sa po natin. Sinabi ito, spending time praying in tongue with a willing, seeking heart allows the Holy Spirit to bring you out beyond limits of your own mind. Kaya kapatid, alam mo, when we pray in tongues, no, what happened? Ano yung sa isip mo when you pray in tongues? It will go beyond what is in your mind. Kaya pag nas yung sa isip mo, pag hindi mo dinadala sa prayer, yun talaga ang mamumove mo. I mean, yun talaga ang gagawin mo. No? Na yun pala natural lang. So, as you spend time praying in tongues, the Holy Spirit will build you up, show you things to come, and even prepare your spirit for the assignment He is bringing you into. Hallelujah! Kaya ito yung, ito yung maganda, yung tools na binigay ni God sa atin, yung gift na binigay ni God sa atin, Kung i-maximize natin to, it is for our advantage talaga na magagawa natin yung pinapagawa ni God sa mga buhay po natin. 
Sige, June 20. Hallelujah. Hey, Jude. But you, beloved, building or edify yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. We are building our most holy faith. No? Binimil mo yung faith mo, yung most holy faith mo, binibuild mo yun. Hallelujah. John 16. However, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth, for He will not speak on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak, and He will tell you things to come. Amen? Hallelujah. When we pray in the Spirit, ano sinabi niya? He will guide you into all truth. Hallelujah. Kasi minsan yung sa mind po natin, hindi pala pa yung truth. It will supersede what is in your mind. And then sinabi niya, and he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Kaya makikita mo talaga, no? Kaya the path of the just become brighter and brighter. Hallelujah. Sa bawat lugar na pupuntahan mo, hindi magsasuffer ang spiritual life mo. Tandaan po natin, I pray that you may prosper in all things, even as your souls prosper it. So, pag sinabing soul, anong kailangan natin? We should be in the place of faith. We should be in the place of, or in the environment of faith. Amen? Hallelujah. Environment where the truth has been teached, has been preached sa ating mga buhay. Amen? Environment where you can, where you can add your supply and receive your supply. Hallelujah. Amen? Okay, another thing. How to find God's assignment for your life? Follow the inside notch and subtle promptings of your heart. No, follow. Romans 8, verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit, these are sons of God. So God will not lead us into our soul. He will lead us into our spirit. Verse 16. The Spirit Himself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God. So you have asked the Lord for His plan and spent time praying about it. Now, it is time to allow Him to begin to lead you and guide you. You ask, you pray, and then, now it's time to begin. Okay? Hearing God, let Him, allow Him to move to lead you, to guide you, and pay attention to peace in the inside. Mayroong peace sa loob. Hindi dahil maganda, hindi dahil guwapo. <laughs> Cute! Hindi, importante yung nasa loob. May peace ba? Isaiah 55 verse 12. For you shall go out with joy. Mm -hmm. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. So, there's peace. There's joy. Amen? Alam natin, kung yun ang pinapagawa ni God sa ating kapatid, mayroong peace, mayroong joy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! At excited ka, kasi alam mo, it is from the Lord. Colossians 3.15 and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the peace of God rule in your heart, not in your mind. Rule in your hearts, and then man will follow. To which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Amen? You don't need to try and hear the Lord speaking words to you. You don't try. No, minsan, yung, minsan, May mga times na gusto mong i-justify yung plano mo. You're trying to seek God. You're trying to hear the word. You're trying to get the scripture. No. The plan of God is not trying to get the scripture. The plan of God is not trying to hear the word of God. You hear it. And He gave you the instruction. And that's why you do it. Amen. Don't force God. No, na it just it justify natin yung mga plano pa natin. Ulitin ko po, you don't need to try and hear the word speaking to your words. Speaking words to you. The Lord isn't always speaking, but He always leading and guiding. He leads and guides through His Spirit with a new, 
bearing witness with your spirit, nudging you and prompting you, be willing to trust him and follow even if it doesn't make sense to your own mind or intellect. Proverbs 4, Proverbs 3. Okay. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Amen. Kay kapatid, hindi lahat ng sumasagi sa isip natin, hindi lahat ng pinagpipray natin, akala natin. Akala ko ikaw ay akin. Hindi. Okay? So, mayroong Holy Spirit na maglilid. Kaya, kung anong nadadrop sa heart natin, sa mind po natin, it's good to keep on asking God. Amen? And then, how to find God's assignment for your life? Don't leave your post. Huwag, huwag mong iwan yung post mo. Huwag mong iwan yung assignment mo. Kung anong pinapagawa ni God sa'yo, di ba? Be occupied of God-given assignment. Kung tinawag ka sa prayer, mananalangin ka, dapat doon ka sa prayer. Amen? Kung tinawag kang kumanta, huwag kang umalis. Anything na alam mong pagkatawag, tinawag ka ni God, huwag mong iwan. Kasi there's discomfort ka na. Amen? No. That place na alam mong binigay ni God, doon mapuprove yung faithfulness mo. You must find your place. Knowing that it is the Lord who gave you that place. Kasi pag hindi mo ipa-fight, kaya it's a matter of decision talaga, di ba? Yung sinabi ko kahapon, no, nobody can stop you except you, but the moment, the moment you decide, the moment you choose the will of God in your life, heaven will back you up. Ecclesiastes 4, I 10 pala verse 4. If the spirit of the ruler rises against you, do not leave your post. For consolation pacifies great offenses. If the spirit of the ruler rises against you, no, galit ang leader mo, galit kung sino man yun, do not leave your post. Kasi alam mo yun ang pinapagawa ni God sa'yo. Amen? Nobody! Doon yun talaga yung authority mo. Hindi. Kahit anong nangyayari. So if you want to prosper in life and experience God's full supply, it's important to plant yourself. Plant yourself in the place God leads you and give yourself entirely to the assignments He puts in your heart to be involved in. Kaya kung saan ka tinawag na local church, kapatid, kung saan kang workplace ni God tinawag, kapatid, itanim mo ang sarili mo doon. Amen? Itanim mo ang sarili mo doon at huwag mong iiwan ang lugar na yun. If you really want to experience God's full supply in your life. We're talking about living God's supply. Amen? Hallelujah. Sabi mo, thank you Lord for loving me. Ulitin ko po, if you want to prosper in life and experience God's full supply, it's important to plant, important to plant yourself in the place God leads you and give yourself. Hindi lang mo ipaplant ang sarili mo, kundi ibigay mo ang sarili mo doon sa lugar entirely to the assignments He put in your heart to be involved. Proverbs 37, 3 to 5, In CV, trust the Lord and do good. Live in the land and feed on truth. Ha -ha. Feed on truth. Enjoy serving the Lord and He will give you what you want. Depend on the Lord. Trust Him and He will take care of you. O, tingnan mo. So that is our secret place, no? If we put ourselves, no? Give yourself entirely. Plant yourself. Ulitin ko po, Psalms 37. Hallelujah. 3 to 5. In CV. Trust the Lord and do good. Where? In the land. Na kung saan kanya dinala. And feed on truth. 
Hallelujah. Sabi sabihin, walang truth doon sa lugar na gusto mong pupuntahan. Ang truth ay nasa lugar na kung saan doon ka dinala ni God. And then, nung sinabi niya, magpapaganda ka lang doon, hindi, enjoy serving the Lord in that land. Amen? Anong, anong, anong pangako? And He will give you what you want. Hallelujah. So, there's healing. There's finances. And then, depend on the Lord. Trust Him. And He will take care of you. Hallelujah. Di ba, simple lang? Ang tao lang talaga nagpapakahirap sa sarili nila. Amen? Yun nga, hindi nga siya automatically done. But praise God, we have online Bible study every night. No, at least lagi kayo nakakarinig at ako din no, laging nakakarinig, laging natuturo at mas lalo siyang ma-establish sa heart and then pag ma-establish siya sa heart then what will happen we're now doing it in our life 1 Timothy meditate on these things give yourself entirely to them that your progress may evident all kapatid ganito yan if you plant yourself in the place God called you and then you give entirely yourself serving the Lord in that place your progress will be evident to all you're not trying to people will recognize people will see progress in your life amen kaya pag wala ka sa place mo din makikita din yung progress pababa pakulubot yung mukha mukha ubas Pasas, hindi na mukhang ubas. Hallelujah. Kasi bakit? Wala kasing truth doon. Amen? Walang truth. Ah, parang ganito yun. How can you serve entirely kay Lord kung yung lugar na yun ay hindi yun ang binigay ni God sa'yo? Amen? Hindi mo may serve ang Panginoon. So those are always changing churches. Woo! Sabi mo, I have ears to hear. Can I see thumbs up? Kahit naka-close camera kayo. Okay. Pindot nyo. Hindi na makikita. Oh. I want you to hear this. Okay. Buksan yung taingan nyo ha. Those who are always changing churches and moving from place to place will profit. Will, pro, will forfeit will forfeit the greater supply available to those who plant themselves kapatid, mafo-forfeit siya wala kang makukuha amen the bible ever entrust us not to associate with those who are given to change proverbs 20 akala natin okay lang hindi If you keep changing churches and places, you will never grow. You will never enjoy the supply of God in your life. Proverbs 24, 21, it says here, My son, fear the Lord and the King. Do not associate with those given to change. Yung pabago-bago, cha-cha-cha, oo hindi, oo hindi. Wala yun. Those who are always changing churches and moving from place to place will profit, will forfeit, the greater supply. You will never enjoy the supply of God available to those who plant themselves. There's a difference to those who stay, plant themselves, than to those who are not staying and giving themselves entirely to the Lord. So naturally, there will be seasons of transition. Yeah, meron season of transition and change throughout your walk with God. But you can be sure that wherever God leads you, He will eventually plant you there. To be planted is to be wholehearted People who are double-minded and always unsettled would prosper fully as they should. Amen? Unsettled. Tingnan po natin sa last verse na. James 1 verse 6. Kala natin, we're talking about spiritual things. Pag natural, madali lang. You can do what you want. Wala namang problema yun. But if you really, come in. there's kingdom. We're talking about the kingdom of God. This is kingdom protocol. If we want to enjoy the kingdom. No? So aside from this, merong word, protocol. So kung, kung susundin natin yung world system, then 
at the end, di talaga natin siya may enjoy. James 1 verse 6 sinabi, But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. So pag bago-bago ang isip po natin, we will never receive anything from the Lord. Amen? So this is for tonight muna. Time na tayo. Hallelujah. So, na-enjoy ba natin? Yung assignment natin, then how to find assignment. Ulitin ko po, ask. Keep on asking and seek. Then offer your life willingly, whatever the Lord wants you to do. And then spend time praying in the Spirit. No, dito talaga, pag seryoso ka talaga, gagawin ng plan ni God, be serious also in the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit. Involved in prayer. Kaya maganda talaga pag mayroon ka ka-prayer, nasa, nasa, nasa corporate prayer ka. Kasi bakit? Pag nasa corporate prayer ka kasi, doon ka din matututo. There's a supply, kaya mas mapabilis ngayon ang progress at mabilis ngayon ang proseso. Then, follow the inside nudge, no? The prompting of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Then, when the Lord show it, then, don't leave your post. Amen? Don't leave, don't leave, wag mong iwan, wag mong iwan, kung saan ka nilagay. Naalala ko dati, yung na-offend ako sa church. Na-offend ako. Ayoko na. Ayoko na. Dito, ayoko na. Uwi na ako. Hindi ko naman kayo ka ano-ano dito eh. Bakit pahirapan kong sarili ko. Tapos yun, nirescue ako ni God. Tapos yun, makita ko sa taas. Sabi ni Lord sa akin. Dati, excited ka. Magpapakasal sa akin. Pagkatapos, nanging-invite ka pa sa mga kaibigan mo. Nung in ordered ka excited ka na magpapakasal ka na sa akin. Tapos ngayon, iiwanan mo ako. Ay, tapos ngayon, aalis ka, sabi niya. Ngayon, aalis ka, sabi niya, hindi sila ang iniwan mo. Ako ang iniwan mo. Kaya kapatid, kung saan ka dinadala ni God, saan local church ka dinadala ni God, at anong pinapagawa ni God, hindi ang lugar ang iniwan mo. Si God mismo ang iniwan mo. Tapos sabi niya, hindi sila ang iniwan mo. Ako ang iniwan mo. Tapos sabi niya, ngayon marami ka ng mga anak. Tapos sa kanan niya ngayon, pinapikita sa akin yung mga tupa. Pero ang unang sinabi niya sa akin, hindi sila ang iniwan mo. Ako ang iniwan mo. Kapatid, ito yun. I heard it from the Lord based on my experience because I was offended. I was offended. Gusto ko nang mag-quit sa ministry. Ito sinabi ko, paket ako sa taas. Hindi sila ang iiwan mo. Ako ang iiwan mo. Amen? So, that's all. <laughs> That's all. Ano lang, reflect lang. Because we're talking about the plan of God. And praise God. I heard it from the Lord. Bakit? Nasa prayer ako. Nasa right place ako. I heard it. And then after I heard it, ngumiti ako. And I make a quality decision. Kahit anong mangyayari. That was the moment I make a quality decision. Kahit anong mangyayari walang pwedeng magpapaalis sa akin dito. There's something in the inside of me to fight my place. And the Lord, back me up. Kaya hanggang ngayon, woo! And doon pa rin, at meron tayong online Bible study every night. Amen? Kasi meron talagang plano sigad sa buhay po natin. All of us, may mga times na ganun, pero hindi lang kayo na offend pati pastor na offend hindi lang kayo nagpa-plano magkukwit, pati pastor. Ilang beses na ako nagpa-plano magkukwit. Amen? Part yun. But, kung yung heart mo talaga sumun sa Panginoon, then you make a quality decision, the Lord will back you. Amen? Again, hindi ang lugar mo ang iniiwan mo. Ang Diyos mismo ang iniwan mo sa lugar niya. And the good thing, God, God is still waiting you in that place. That's why you cannot go farther. The Word of God said, apart from me, you can do nothing. 
God is there in your place. Kung saan mo siya iniwan, ganun siya ka-faithful. Kung saan mo siya iniwan, hindi hindi siya aalis dun sa lugar na yun para hindi ka maliligaw. Hindi siya tao pag nawala yung kasama. Hinahanap ka rin. No. He will stay in that place kung saan mo siya iiwan. And then, pagbalik mo, andyan siya. No condemnation, then the plan continue. Apart from the Lord, you can do nothing. Yun yung goodness again. Yun siya katapat. No? Ang tao nang iiwan, ang Diyos hindi iiwan. Balikan mo siya, ang dudun lang din siya. Amen? Hallelujah. Bakit? He's our God. He knows. Saan tayo niya dadali? Hallelujah! Si Hallelujah! Praise God! Mukhang, ang sarap na aking turo ngayon ha. Naramdaman ko yung... Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for your word tonight. Thank you. This is your love, Lord. And thank you, Panginoon, na patuloy mo talaga kaming tinuturuan at dalaan ko po, Panginoong God, Lord, na ang truth, yun, yung sinabi kanina, oh God, that in that place, in the land, we will be fed by the truth. And Father, thank you na bagamat masakit ang truth, but we believe there, God, the Word of God said the truth will set us free. It is our, the attitude of the heart, how we should respond. And Father, we thank you, and I believe, oh God, you're speaking to each and every one of us. This is the reality. This is the reality. This is the truth that we're talking about concerning the plan of God. So, Father, we thank you so much, O oh God, for our God-given task. Thank you for our place. Thank you, dear God, for our local church that you give to us, dear God. Hallelujah. Praise God for the ordained places, the associations that we have, Father. Hallelujah. We're always in the right place with the right people, doing the right thing in the right time. And Lord, this is my prayer that you will continue to help us discern the season in our life, O oh God, and to give everything fully, O dear God, ourselves, O God, in every season of work po natin. And then as we look back, dear God, we say, thank you, Lord God, I've done it. And then, Lord, we can hear from you said, well done, good and faithful servant. And then promotion comes. So, Father, we thank you, dear God. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for your ability. Hallelujah that you've given us. And thank you for the word. Thank you for the utterances, O God. Lord, our heart's desire is to really enjoy everything what's in the kingdom. To live, Lord God, in the full supply live the full supply in the kingdom of God living in the full supply in God full supply in Jesus name thank you father hallelujah and I pray to God that those words will continue to minister to us even again matatapos na po yung magko-close kami ngayon let those words continue to minister and speak to us dear God hallelujah and help us oh God to, to, to check to evaluate oh dear God and help us also God to make the right choice Hallelujah. Kung naman po yung mga nakikita po namin. God, continue to speak to each and every one of us. Continue to show us thanks to our God. That sometimes, oh God, we forget already na yung palang pinapagawa mo, Panginoon. But Lord, because we neglect it, oh God, we forget. And Holy Spirit, I ask you to continue to help us remind those things, dear God, na pinapagawa mo po sa amin, oh God, at nakalimutan po namin. Kaya thank you, Panginoon. Salamat po. Salamat po. Salamat, salamat, salamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Hallelujah. You're all blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's declare, Jesus is Lord. Satan is defeated. I am victorious. My faith is fed. My faith grows stronger. I learn how to be an overcomer. I walk by faith. I live by faith. I overcome the world by faith. I'm strong in faith, giving glory to God. Amen. So thank you very much. And see you again tomorrow. Be blessed.